Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog and this one is the start of a really fun project. I actually, I hope it's gonna be fun. I know it's gonna be delicious. So uh, I moved to Bangkok about six years ago, living here off and on. Uh, since COVID, I've been home nine months straight. And there's one thing that used to not be here that is here now, good Mexican food. I mean, it was an absolute nightmare finding good Mexican food when I first moved here. But now the city has exploded with some amazing Mexican food offerings. And I know it's kind of crazy to say that, like for a place like Bangkok uh, or Thailand in general, it has such an amazing cuisine culture. But the Western cuisine, and I would say tacos are Western cuisine, has just blown up here. So the I want to say, I'll probably post it before this video, but I did a video on Cholos Tacos. Uh, and it was just a, Fantastic experience, absolutely wonderful, wonderful burritos and tacos there. And maybe a week after that, they announced Taco Fest for the first time. And that's where I'm going right now, Taco Fest. It's a 15 day event with 15 different restaurants offering some of the best tacos here in Bangkok. Over the next few weeks, uh, actually a couple weeks, it's 15 days straight, I'll be going to 15 of the best Mexican restaurants here in Bangkok and trying their specials. The great thing about Taco Fest is each restaurant is offering a different specialty. Uh, three tacos for a set price. Some are all vegan, some are all meat, some are a combination of all three, but it's going to be a wonderful experience, I'm sure. And I'm lucky because the first two places we're going to check out are literally walking distance from my front door. figure out very quickly is that we're not doing reviews there's not gonna be a review series or what's the best or what's the worst tacos I'm just running around enjoying tacos so it was interesting uh, the owner is actually here and she is from Mexico which makes a very big difference to me because somebody who's actually from Mexico knows how to make good tacos so I'm in a pork kind of mood today and this is amazing The pork, fantastic. Chicharron gives it a little crisp that you don't normally get with salt taco. Not every second, but you gotta see the next bite. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Just like foams on my eye. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. All right, let's take a quick second to talk about mezcal. Uh, and I think a lot of people who haven't spent time in Mexico or Texas or the southern part of the United States, um, they don't really know what mezcal is. And a lot of people confuse it with tequila. Uh, tequila is a type of mezcal. So all tequila is mezcal, but not all mezcal is tequila. So tequila is made from a very specific agave, a blue agave in a certain region. It's very, it's, um, it's very similar with wine, it's, um, like a port, it would be very similar to a port. A port are specifically made in, a, in, in one place in Portugal, right? In, in, port, in Porto, excuse me. So um, a mezcal can be made from 30 different types of agave uh, all around Mexico in different regions. So it's actually uh, significantly more um, accessible, more prevalent in Mexico than tequila is. Uh, and, and to be perfectly honest, I am not a, a, a connoisseur of tequilas or mezcals. They all taste very similar to me. I drink them exactly the same way. Um, and, but in my personal opinion, 
can't have good tacos without the tequila from my skull. So all we really have is tequilas, but sometimes like, when you go to the south, to the south like in Hidalgo, all mezcals. Yes, everywhere. no, and now Mexico City, it's like I always tell our customers like the younger people who are into mezcal, yeah. and like the older generations are tequila. I mean, yeah. people still drink tequila, but yeah. it's definitely something trendier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like mezcal you can get more different types of mezcal. Oh, so tequila many. is little agave. That's what tequila yeah, is. Yeah, and these are and these are like it can be wild plants or. Uh, it's also like depends on the family, like there's a lot of uh, family, small yeah, it's like wine. Uh, distillers, yeah. Yeah, it's like wine. Oh, ah, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's really oh, nice. so good. Oh, these, these tacos. Oh. See? Good. And oh. this is our drunken tequila sauce. Oh, made so with uh, tequila, beer, and uh, dry chili. It's so good. I like it. I like it because it's not too spicy. It yeah, has a lot of flavor. It adds a perfect yeah. amount of, of, of just smokiness and the flavor to the, the pork. It's oh, wonderful. Hey guys, absolutely fantastic tacos, but luckily, which is very, very rare now in Bangkok, the owner's here. There you go. So you are actually from Mexico City. Yes. Yeah, which is Mexico rare City. here right now. Like, I don't run into a lot of Mexicans here in, in, in uh, here in Bangkok. How did you end up here? Well, I came here nine years ago, and that's about how long we've had the restaurant. Yeah. Um, and then, and, and originally, you know, I was telling you guys, back then, there wasn't a lot of Mexican places here. Like, so you guys were like one of the first ones to really open up Mexican restaurants. Yeah, back then, there wasn't a lot of Mexican places here. Like, so you guys were like one of the first ones like yes. in Bangkok, and you guys just moved over here to Anu area, right? Yes, no, we, we used to be at Soy 18, uh, and we ended up now here in Anu for a while. You know, who knows what else uh, will come, but uh, uh, we used to have this sister restaurant, which was Madong, it used to be a Thai fusion restaurant, yeah. and with all the COVID thing that happened, yeah, it changed know, uh, we had to the, close The whole city changed yeah. because of COVID, totally different. <laughs> no, but here we are, and we're yeah. making our tacos, so yeah. from the heart, yeah. you know, and Oh, it was fantastic. It, 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 was, it was exactly what I expected from uh, a taco that was created by somebody who's from Mexico. And just amazing flavors, everything was on point. Fantastic. So, if, if you had to tell people to come here and try one thing on the menu, okay, one thing, what is that? Well, right now for the taco festival, yeah. I would tell them to have the yeah. tacos you had, the cappuccinos. Yeah. Uh, it's pork carnitas with uh, chorizo and chicharrón. And it's just like a very like street kind of taco. Yeah. Uh, we're not pretentious. We're just like a fonda. We're very like homey, uh, mm. not very uh, basic cooking. Yeah. You know, so. Perfect. And what was your name? Lisa. Lisa. It's mucho gusto. Uh, mucho gusto. Gracias. Fantastic. Muy bien. Gracias. Sí. Muchas gracias. <laughs>